Jack And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more Oh, what you say? Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't you treat me so mean You're the meanest old woman that I've ever seen I guess if you say so things and go that's right hit the road jack and don't you come back no more no more no more no more hit the road jack and don't you come back no more oh what you say come on back ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, good game son you know you just gotta learn that basketball is a lot like school you just have to pay attention now think fast <laughs> That was good. <laughs> little late. Little late. Jack, what was that? Oh, that was Ryan playing in the living room again. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> you sold me out. What kind of a lesson does that teach me? A very valuable one, son. Always be the first one to lie. That's the one they believe. <laughs> contained my grandfather. Throw him in a fireplace. Maybe he'll meet someone. Jack, he's my grandfather. Oh, great. Just what I need on my new jacket. Can you get the dead out with club soda, or do you have to use holy water? Oh, Jack, Grandpa ruined my new outfit. He always was a dirty old man. Can I have some money to go shopping? Now, why? You look great in what you already have. Now, good enough. Can I have some money to go shopping? Of course, sweetheart. Here. Hey, how come she gets money and I don't? Well, maybe Daddy just loves me better. No, no, no. I love you both the same. Ah. Oh. 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 Keep your stinking love. All I want's your lousy credit card. Hey, Tiffany, what do you say you and I go shopping together? With my mother? It's bad enough you were present at my birth. <laughs> oh, honey, come on. It'll give me a chance to steal the labels out of all the designer clothes and make my price plus gowns designer originals. Oh, Jenny, where did you get that? Gee, I don't know. Check the label. <laughs> My God, Grandma, what on earth are you wearing? I don't know. Your mother bought it for me. It's an Armani. Uh, check the label. <laughs> what? What is that? Oh, it smells just like your grandfather. <laughs> How that man loved his barbecue. Except for the last one. <laughs> oh, well, we saved a fortune on cremation. Wait till she sees how much I'm gonna save on hers. Come on, honey, come shopping with your hip happening mom and let's bargain our buns off. Great, right, Mom, I'm not going to any store with bins. Besides, they spy on you in the dressing rooms of those places. Every time I change my clothes, I hear applause from behind the mirror. <laughs> Are you listening? I heard it again. Hey, guys. Been upstairs punishing myself for breaking that vase. <sighs> Made myself watch six minutes of Bless This House. Oh, Ryan, honey, that's way too harsh. You didn't actually kill Grandpa. <laughs> Jack, you know, I don't feel like doing laundry. Why don't you take Ryan for some new clothes, huh? But don't spend too much. Mom, I hate those cheap jeans. Oh, don't you worry. They'll be designer jeans by morning. <laughs> <sighs> Not another year wearing Gloria Vanderbilt. <laughs> Dad, the kids at school laugh at me. Ah, it's not the pants, son. It's what's in them. That's what they're laughing at. <laughs> hey, this is gonna be one of those great father's Sundays. You're not gonna... 
take me down to the Army recruiter again, are you, Dad? Man, you sure know how to kill a surprise. I am so embarrassed. I can't believe you held up that sweater and said I can get this at Lowman's for less. For God's sake, Mother, JSB Fashions is not a, a Middle Eastern bazaar. It's a retail store. Even know what retail means? Yes, it means the sales girls are getting twice as much as Daddy. <laughs> but the fools do trust people. I stole some fine designer labels. Oh, I can't wait to sew these into my cheap knockoffs. Oh, another Armani for Mom. It'll go so nice with a Versace Moo Moo. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. Here's your ticket. Have a nice day. No, no, no. You don't understand. We're just leaving. I know. That's what makes it so fun. <laughs> Listen, can't, can't we smooth this over with, oh, how about a nice Yves Saint Laurent label for your uniform, hmm? I tell you what, I'm just gonna slip this into your back pocket. Woo! <laughs> there doesn't seem to be room in there, what with your gigantic button there and all. <laughs> Oh, come on, we're all girls. Do you feel bloated? I know I do. There, we bonded. Long live American quilt, huh? Now, you're gonna take this ticket and you're gonna like it, you overdressed hussy. <laughs> Out parading around with your little granddaughter? <laughs> this one's for you, baby. Oh, yeah? Well, this is for every American who doesn't have a dime. <laughs> Finally in fashion. All the kids are wearing these. Feel like a gangster. Son, when you say stick them up, you better be packing more than that. We even got something for you, Grandpa. A new home. Ross, get down here. Everybody at the table, right now. Move. Come on, go, go, go. Okay. Put your hands together and pray. Let's pray. <laughs> Just put your hands together, look unhappy, and shut up. Come in. There she is. Oh, excuse us. We were just praying. How may I help you? That's the woman who assaulted me. I'm sure of it. I have no idea what she's talking about. I've been here all day. My family can vouch for me. Is this true? She told you how it is. Lying is a sin. Copper! <laughs> Does this crazy woman have any witnesses? Uh, no. Well, then I guess it's just her word against that of an American family that prays together in the middle of the day for no apparent reason. I'm not gonna make this arrest. Could turn out like the time we shot that Amish guy. It took a whole week for that to blow over. <laughs> You. I'll pray for your soul. <laughs> what was that all about? I have no idea. <laughs> Mom popped her one and shoplifted. <sighs> There's a lesson to be learned here, kids. You don't have to drink to be cool. <laughs> I told you, Copper. You got nothing on me. And yeah, maybe not. We just checked our computer. Apparently, your husband here has got 147 unpaid parking tickets. Well, I don't have any parking tickets. Well, somebody does, and the car is registered to you. Jenny! Excuse me, I'm praying. You better be praying. Come on, Jack. You're the one who wanted the car in your name. I'm losing my identity. I just want one thing of my very own. Well, you wanted it. You got it, you big baby. Yeah, but I didn't get any of those tickets. Jenny, will you just tell the man? I told you I'd get you. Hey, will you tell him I didn't get those tickets? Come on! Oh, yeah. You really got me. <laughs> hey, where can I put this guy? Sorry, we'll full up, pal. But he's a parking violator. Can't you move someone else? I mean, what about this guy? He's a murderer. But what the hey, he'll be back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll 
I'm free. I'm going to play some golf. <laughs> Excuse me, where's the gym and what time does it close? And where's the little guy who can always get you anything you want? You don't walk away from me, screw. There's no jail that can hold me. I'm Jack Malloy, see? I run Poisonville. <laughs> Anybody hear how the market closed today? <laughs> I expected this. <clears throat> I think this one's for me, sis. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess there's a place for everyone, huh? If only they had a prom here. They do. And I think you've just been elected queen. <laughs> Jack, what's new? Hey, Dad, are you anyone's woman yet? No, son, not yet. Well, you just got here. But just in case, I brought you Mr. Floppy. He'll protect you. Gee, thanks, son. I'm sure no one will touch me now. You come to bail me out? <laughs> yeah, like I've got $10,000. But, Jack, I wouldn't pay it if it were $10. This is a matter of principle. This is about our rights as Americans. Little by little, they're taking away our freedom. I mean, how can they charge you to park on a public street that our taxes paid for? I remember a time in this country when there were no parking meters. I bet you also remember a time in this country when the common mode of transportation was the covered wagon. <laughs> and I fondly remember a time when you could slug your kid and it was called discipline, not abuse. <laughs> and when you went to the movies, they used to get right to the good stuff, the cartoons and coming attractions. Remember that night you went to the movies and, and the curtain rises and there for the first time is a commercial for the L.A. Times. Oh, we all booed and booed, convinced that nobody would accept commercials at the movies. But soon enough, the booze died away and so did the American spirit. All we got were more commercials and that stupid THX, the audience is listening thing. The audience is not listening. They're yelling, start the damn movie! But nobody can hear him because George Lucas is just too loudly patting himself on the back. What has happened to this country? You can't drive a car without a seatbelt. You can't ride a motorcycle without a helmet. You can't even have a couple of drinks and drive yourself home and you sure can't park in front of the bar because you're just gonna get a ticket. <laughs> Well, Jack, they can lock you up and they can throw away the key, but they're not going to take my freedom. I'll let you run in here if it'll keep them from destroying America. I want our country back! Yeah! I want better food. I want a better mattress. I want the boy. <laughs> and I want a simpler, simpler America. An America where a wife and mother is above the law. Jaywalk! Over park, spank your kids, taste great, less filling, Attica, 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 Attica. Okay, Attica. settle down, settle down. All right, who started this? <laughs> Easy, fellas, that was my wife. Beat my wife, not my... <laughs> How long have I been out? Well, you slept through my Grateful Dead medley. <laughs> of course, how could you not, unless you were tripping? <laughs> so how are you, Jack? Well, I think they broke my... Ah, that's nice, Jack. <laughs> you want to know how I am? Not well, Jack. I've been violated. <laughs> Who would violate you? Oh, suddenly you don't think I'm attractive. <laughs> it was the cops, Jack. The heat, the fuzz, the flatfoots, the bacon. Pigs, get it? Yeah. First, they threw me in front of a drug-sniffing dog who slobbered all over me. Then they felt me up. They said they were looking for files. You know me, Jack. There's no hole for a file. But there is now. Oh. I used to be a stuffed animal. Now I'm a hand puppet. Oh. I don't even know his name. It's Fritz. <laughs> I don't like it in here, Flappy. I don't like having my toilet out in the open for everyone to see like that, and I don't like these people. Don't
Don't look down on them just because they're criminals, Jack. Anyone can kill. Why, I remember back at the toy factory, we were all ready to be shipped off. Some of us were going to America and some to inferior countries. <laughs> I was on a shelf headed to India and I didn't want to go. I mean, I didn't want to wind up being cuddled by some dot-headed orphan dressed in rags, speaking to me in that sing-song gibberish. So I climbed up to the American shelf, pulled this bear out of his packaging, and tore his little head off. <laughs> Guess which one of us got sent to India after that? <laughs> Watch out for the elephant duty, Teddy. <laughs> so stick with me. I'll protect you. I'm one bad dude. I'm Mr. Floppy, see? Anyone gives me lip, they get six in the belly. Nah, nah. You dismembered your last family, Spike. Yeah, bro. Now get in there with the parking violator. Hi. Nice to meet you. I, uh, I'm Jack Malloy. I run Poisonville. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> You see, I need privacy when I go to the potty. Yeah. All right, Mr. Flappy, let him have it. Six in the belly. Mr. Flappy? Who are you talking to? Who am I talking to? Yeah, who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm talking to my doll. That's who I'm talking to. He's real scary and real mean. <laughs> Wait, I'll do the voice. Arr! Arr! I've killed before! Arr! Okay, relax, man. I'll do whatever you want. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you can start by putting a curtain around that toilet. Arr! 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 Call him off! <laughs> Call him off! I'm hungry. We'll figure out some way to get this bottle open. I can't eat things without ketchup. It really makes you appreciate Daddy, doesn't it? I mean, ever since he's been in jail, none of the disgusting chores around the house have gotten done. I mean, look at the trash. <laughs> you know, one of you could take out the trash. You could do the dishes. He could lose some weight. <laughs> you could gain some weight. And you will. That's a, that's oh, come on, you're nice. Break it up, thing. break it up! like a twig. Mom, ease off of her. She's not the meter maid. Oh, my God, do you see what's happening? Without Daddy here to blame, we're turning on each other. Let's pray. <laughs> oh, but seriously, these are jobs that we can do. There's nothing that Daddy did that we can't do ourselves, believe me. Hey, Mom, uh, the toilet needs plunging. I kind of clogged it up. <laughs> oh, that's it. We gotta spring your father. Only he can unplug Ryan's duty. <laughs> but where are we going to get $10,000? Oh, it's a beautiful morning, and I plugged my toilet. Where's Jack? He's in jail, Mom. Oh, I forgot. I'll just use the one in your bedroom, honey. Actually, you know, we were just talking about how much we miss him. Oh, you've got to get on with your life. You should be seeing other men. I'm sure Jack is. I cannot cheat on Jack. Why not? You would be following in the fine tradition of women who sent their husbands off to fight in World War II and then played around with the cowards and the cripples at home. Be that as it may, Mom, I really want to get Jack out. Do you have any money? Ah, oh, just the pittance that I embezzled from your daddy's business. How much do you need? Well, $10,000. <laughs> I thought you were talking about real money. <laughs> Where did you get so much cash? Oh, I won it, betting against the Raiders. <laughs> Jack, it's so good to see you. Are you okay? Sure, I'm fine. Oh. Uh, okay, Spike, that'll do it. Gotta talk to the wife. You can go clean the toilet with your hair. Oh, I don't want it, Jack. Roar! Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Jack, at least I was faithful. Oh, it's not what you think. He's just afraid of my bunny. No! <laughs> 
<laughs> Your bunny couldn't scare a child. <laughs> but don't you worry, sweetheart. We're going to get you out of here. My mother's going to bail you out. How much for that one? 20000 I like the cut of his jib. Sold. And that one. And, uh... That one. Ooh. What have we here? He's a cannibal, ma'am. Good. I won't have to cook. <laughs> Muzzle him up. I'll take him. Out. Hey, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. What about me? Oh, Jack, I'm so sorry. I don't have any more money. But you seem happier here. Well... I am, actually. <laughs> Goodbye, Jack. I'll come visit you less and less as the years go by. Well, that's something. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, kids. Sorry, Dad. Bye. Well, it could be worse, Jack. Being in jail here is better than being free in India. <laughs> Lucky for us, I smuggled in this kazoo. That should give us something to do for the next five years. <laughs> What's wrong, Jack? Oh, I miss Spike. We'll always have Fritz. <laughs> My parents don't understand me. I love my boyfriend and we want to get married. But my mom says I can't till I turn 16. That's months away. Why can't parents understand that love can't wait? Lisa asks Manhattan, New York. Dear Lisa, what you doing wasting your time with a 16-year-old when you could have someone like me who's all bunny? I'm rich, famous, and can satisfy you like no one else can. Grrr. 